compression in the ham radio station. How can we use it? Can we use it sensibly? And how can we use it to improve our signals? Let's take a look. Compression is a feature that is on most transceivers today and it's a feature that you should uh, consider using because if it's used properly then you can get a gain of around 3 dB in terms of torque power. Now 3 dB is worth having because 3 dB equates to doubling the power. So if for example you have running 100 watts you could actually increase your effective power to 200 watts. So let's take a look at how to set up compression and uh, how, it, uh, how it works. Now for the purpose of this video I'm going to use this uh, Heil um, headset. Uh, two reasons, it keeps uh, allows me to have my hands free to uh, do the demonstration and secondly when you're using compression it's essential that you close speak to the microphone because with compression if there's any background noise it will bring it up. So number one rule if you're using compression you need to close speak to the microphone. The reason I'm using the Ellicroft K3 is partly because it's the transceiver I use anyway and secondly all the uh, controls that I need to adjust such as mic gain, compression are on at the outside and easily uh, get attable. We're coming close to the screen on the K3 you'll see on the left hand side SWR and RF power. Now we don't need that for the purpose of this demonstration. What I'm going to do is press this knob on the left hand side and we change it to compression and ALC. Uh, one of the nice things on the K3 um, is that when I adjust the mic gain control uh, immediately on the screen comes the mic gain control and if I go to the compression control immediately up on the screen comes the compression control. So we're on transmit now and uh, as you can see there's no power coming out, there's no ALC and there's no compression. Now I'm going to turn the mic gain control up and as I turn it up you'll see a bit of movement on the SWR meter or the power meter and I'll turn it up until we see some, see some ALC action and uh, there we are we can see some quite a bit of ALC action there let's take it back, back a bit. So that now means that uh, I've, uh, I'm peaking. The, the transceiver is uh, switched to 12 watts simply because I've, I've switched the PA off and we're just using the driver. So I'm, you can see a bit of ALC action when I, uh, uh, when I um, speak into the microphone. I'm going to increase the ALC now. Um, it's quite a bit. Uh, it's quite a bit. Now the power has gone up slightly, the average power has gone up slightly, but uh, uh, no great amount. I'm going to take the ALC back now because there's no point in driving it more than we have to. One, two, three, four, five. There we are. So um, we've got a bit of ALC action. Take it back a bit more. And uh, yeah, you see on peaks, I've got ALC action. So it means to say that I'm peaking at around about 12 watts. Now, I'm going to put some compression in. Right, so uh, that's uh, uh, with... Uh, um, 10 dB of compression or 10 on the uh, indication. I'm not quite sure whether it's uh, dB on the uh, K3 or not. That's a bit of compression. Uh, let's take it up now a bit more. Right, uh, take it up a bit, bit more now. And uh, as you can see, the uh, uh, we've got almost double the uh, average power. Not quite, but double. I'm going to take it up a bit more now. Right, now I guess that's what you might call... Um, the sort of thing you'd use uh, for working DX. But you can see that uh, the average power now has gone up by at least double. Now, I don't want to, I, I can increase the compression more, but I'll, I'll show you what happens if I increase the compression more. Now, you can, you, any, any breath noise is driving the transmitter sound awful. So we're going to take the compression down. I would say take it down to probably a figure of about 25. And uh, when I stop speaking, as you can see, there is no, um, there's no residual output there. Now I'm going to take the compression out completely so you can get a, a, an, an AB test. At the moment we've got uh, 
uh, where we got um, yeah we've got 25 25 DB of compression at the moment I'm gonna take it right out right now the compression is out now and I think you can see that the signal has gone down by at least 3 DB now the, the important thing is that it doesn't really matter how accurate your SWR meter is as long as it's basically linear um, so you can see that uh, if uh, the reading goes down you get some sort of relative uh, indication I'm just going to go back up again there we are that's now uh, a figure of 25 which is about maximum I would do but you can see how the average has gone up and uh, that means that you your torque power has gone up and uh, take it right back down to uh, zero now with no compression <clears throat> so it's an interesting feature to play about with um, and it's worth spending a bit of time uh, just setting it up and just seeing what difference uh, you get. Well, I hope you found that interesting. Um, it does prove the power of compression. It needs to be used intelligently, don't overdo it, and um, just get uh, a couple of reports uh, on the air to make sure you're not overdriving. But uh, if you're using a modern transceiver, there's no real fear of overdriving. It's a question of whether it sounds okay or it's a bit over the top. Remember, compression does bring up background noise close speak and also try and operate in a, uh, a quietish environment but if you close speak turn the mic gain back until you just start to drive the ALC you should be okay the advantage of a headset of course is that you've got hands free but it works equally well with a hand microphone so until the next time thanks for watching this video and enjoy your ham radio